Another one. Welcome back. Um, just having a problem there with my camera. I'm not hard to run. Um, today I was at a car boot sale and I bought this little tree for a euro. So for a euro I'd take a chance with it. Um, I'm not sure it's a type of cryptomeria or white cedar or something like that. But anyway, I got it and wasn't too sure what to do with it. But then I was thinking you've been watching my videos you'll wait to see me building this little forest out of cuttings um, there's none of died off or anything yet so I'm hoping they take but um, yeah seems to be okay it's been there for quite a while now and there's no browning or anything yet so fingers crossed it'll take so that's what I was thinking I might do with this tree for a euro we'll take a chance um, so, I'm just going to back up here now. What my plan is going to be is to basically take off all these bottom branches, keeping the main tree, and use all the bottom branches then as cuttings as minch trees around it and build like a forest like the other one. And if all else fails and all these die, maybe I'll just be left with the main tree, which we can then decide to just style maybe put a bit of wire on it or something but for now I'll leave it as is and see how it goes so what I'm going to do first so the first thing to do is cut off my scissors cut away all the branches back here like this Hoping it doesn't look too bad underneath when it's all bulky. We may have to hide the main trunk because it's quite thick and then it goes thin, but it might fill out. We'll see. First thing I'm going to do is just prune off all the branches and we'll have a look at it. I didn't really need any more trees but it's actually rooted so try and get that root out if we can. That one's actually got a root on it already. And we'll just wrap a 
little bit of way around it. Doesn't have to go all the way up, just enough to straighten the trunk off. Yeah, wire cutters. Like so. So we have a straight little tree. Or almost straight tree. Doesn't have to be like that. So I'll do that to all of these and then we'll come back. Okay, so I have all them done. They're all <coughs> ready and got a little bit of wire on to straighten them off and they're all just sitting in a basin of water now. So I'll take this one out and we'll do that. I've done this one. Again, I would not be doing this this time of the year or anything like that with any good tree this is basically only because I paid a euro for this tree so I'm not that too worried about it if it makes it it makes it doesn't I've lost out the euro I'm not going to take all the soil off this I just want to get it down to a root base we can and then just cut it back a little bit there's a lot of high roots here it's been potted up a few times I would say don't know how far down the actual tree goes it feels quite solid still think it's going quite far down Doesn't seem to be. Seems to be the bottom. Okay, so we'll just take off some of these. Some of those, these higher roots. <coughs> two roots here, one on top of the other. So we'll just take off the top one. Leave the bottom one. Okay, could do with it being a little bit shallow, alright. So we'll just take off some of the bottom. Like I said, I would not recommend doing this. Just down here with any of your trees. This is just literally like an experiment on a one euro tree. By all means if you find a little tree like this, bark the tree, give it a go. time of year I would wash the roots and do a proper root pruning on it but because of the time of year it is we won't just root that out the way okay so I'm not going to use good bonsai soil for this I've just got some compost and a little tray here just to work with do want to maybe put a rock 
in it like the other one just gives it a bit of character just gonna decide where I want to put the rock maybe somewhere like there so I'll just push that in a bit then around. Okay, so I'm probably going to put this tree in first. So I've just got some compost here and I've some new compost and I've mixed some perlite in with it. No need to be wasting good bonsai soil on things like this. Okay, so I could put that rock under there. Pull that tree in like that. That can be our first tree. Right, just have a few more other rocks here I could put in. We want to add a bit more. We'll see, we might not need it. We have a lot of trees. Okay, <clears throat> now there's not really a lot of dif difference in the size. These look to be the biggest two. So I've got some root and hormone here. So I'll just dip that in there. Maybe we'll put this tree in here. Like that. This is the big one. Maybe here. It's like that if you're gonna do cuttings, you may as well do something with them rather than just plant more rows in a tray. They work, they work. Ideally we'd like to moss this when it's done but I have no moss at the moment. Everywhere is bone dry, so we're out of luck with the moss for now. Back here. Something 
like that. So I don't have it. When I water it, I'll kind of pack it in a bit tighter because the compost is dry and probably top it off then with some more or even maybe some some bonsai soil on the top just to help hold the compost down or if I can find some moss ideally would be better um, now I still have this little one with a bit of root on it so Just plant him in its own little pot. Mm. Okay, I'll have to find a little pot for that. We'll leave that one in the water till I get around to it. Okay, so we'll leave it as is now. I don't have any moss, but I did. I'd like to cover it with moss, but I'll have a look around and see if there is any more. Good. Maybe put some more rocks in, but I don't think it needs it. Okay, so that'll do for this video, guys. Again, I'm just experimenting with this. Do not try this at home with any of your good trees. This tree cost me a euro. If we're all these dying, this one is the only one that lives. It's still a half decent tree for a euro. We can give a little bit of a styling if need be. Put it in a pot by itself. So put it on the bench, I'll give it a good soaking, I'll put it in the shade next to that one on the shelf that's kind of shaded against the fence and hopefully in the future we'll be able to look at two forests that survived. Right so don't forget to like and subscribe guys if you like my videos and share them if you can, help me out. It. So we've got two little forests made out of cottons basically. We'll see how they go. Okay, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.